All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a air handler. I called in saying that the area is warm and space temperatures in the upper 70s. Our drive is currently hand. So let's take that out of hand. All right, so I found out building maintenance have put this thing in hand. So I put it back in auto. We're only 20 hertz, which is probably the minimum set point for this, our return temp. 78 almost, and our supply. Right about the same. So it's telling me this is probably that button looks like it's broken. So that valve is probably closed. All right, so I got to call into energy management. They have to reload the controller because I was not getting any signals out of this. So we're waiting. And that will explain why the, we didn't have anything ramping up. Alright, so we're going to confirm our voltage here. Going to the true water valve. I think mechanically it's broken because that thing's fully depressed and won't move. Okay, so now before I can get this open, the drive started ramping up. So let's see if we can get a signal reading here. Okay, we have our signal for the drive now is at our full 10 volts. But when we check our water valve, we still are not getting a signal. And we know it's hot. So let's uh, call up the boys at EMS again and see what else we got going on. Okay, so according to energy management, they're calling for 100% chill water valve. And I'm getting 0% still. Even hit the reset there, so I'm thinking there's more evidence in this room too. Here's another controller, and there's another controller. So if history repeats itself, we have another back controller, um, but we did get our signal back for the drive. So now I know what we're working with. We're going to uh, replace the the actuator since that uh, mechanical release is broken. All right, so just for giggles, I took one of those old controllers and popped it in there. And of course, it didn't work. So I had to call the powers to be at energy management and it was needs to be reloaded again. So they're going to send somebody else out who's got more of these controllers and put a fourth one in. All right, we got our new valve in place. Uh, we're still getting no signal, so it's just going to stay in the zero position. We'll end up locking it open so that they get some chill water flow. And I still don't have any signal going back to the drive. Uh, I think I've been put on the naughty list. I, got, I called them too many times today. So they're supposed to reload the controller. But if they don't, we're just going to put it back in hand and uh, ramp her back up. But yeah, we're still not getting any signal. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to leave it at 45. We do have some uh, VAVs in there, so I don't want to go too crazy. And we'll open that Belimo valve up and uh, just lock it open. And hopefully nobody comes in here pushing the release.
think we're gonna have to make a trip to the plant because if that temperature is correct, we've only got 52 degree supply water in here. We're not coming down to that 55 degrees just yet. And we have a return at 77. So we'll have to go take a walk through the plant. Okay, let's see what we got working in here. Chiller one is a run inhibit. Diagnostic shutdown, we have an alarm. Condenser water flow overdue. Perfect. So our water temperature is 54 degrees. Chiller two also an alarm. Evaporator water flow loss. Okay. Well, three must be the only one running here. No alarms. Running limit. All right, here we are. Back with the same situation. I still have a starter order for this one, but I've made this one, this one, come to the final one. Looks like we have another bad motor here. Uh, we're pulling the leads off the motor. We'll double check it over there, but you know, this one even had the, the motor saver hooked up to it. Apparently these alarms happened early this morning. Uh, in the 3.20 a.m. Zero percent good. All right, so I've isolated uh, this pump number four. It's bad. Power's disconnected to that one. So we're going to be able to start up our two and three here, which should give us chiller one operation again. Chiller two will remain down. All right, so our pumps did restart. Two and three there. So let's go restart our chiller. It's restarting itself because it uh, sets the return of the water flow. We're looking better now. Temperature's coming down, so with two chillers, should be able to maintain this. All right, let's see if we got reloaded or not. Negative. They must have put me on the end of the day list. So back to hand we go. All right, so we're just gonna leave it there in hand. Uh, once they replace this other controller, should be back in automatic and we have the new Alimo already installed so once they uh, restore the controls it should take off and do its thing uh, unfortunately we had a casualty there in the chiller plant and got to replace another motor so this place is uh, haunted with power failures they still have not done our fuse disconnects but what, what can I do Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.